welcome back to Seacrest City. Oh, I am excited. I'm excited. Um, you might be able to tell if you're particularly observant, but, uh, oh, hold on, my cursor is being a pain. This is not the face that you saw the last time I was on the server. And I also want to apologize because, um, the server is now in 1.20, but, um, Optifine has no 1.20 yet, so we're, we're vibing. We're vibing. Um, but yeah, so let me just take off my armor. And you can see I've designed a new skin. So this is based off of a, um, uh, get my sword out of my hand. This is based off of a piece of art I did for an animation meme that I'm working on. And it's pretty cool looking. So we've got a little bracelet, got a little anklet, got a tank top, long hair, different hairstyle actually. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the back that is particularly notable. Let me just take off the cape real fast. Nope, still got a tail, still got hair. I think that's it. So yeah, I'm excited to play with this. So the main plans for today is I need to cover this up. We need to make this look nice, right? But then also, um, we're in 1.20. I want me some- oh, that works really well. Good, good job, Bowser. You did very good. I like it. Um, we're in 1.20, and that means there's a bunch of new stuff to play with. So I'm gonna go out and find it. But first, we need to cover this up. And I, I'm sorry again for what happened last week. Uh, Twitch Studio is no longer being used. I'm waiting for me in here. And we also have this lovely plan we're gonna continue to ignore, except I can actually get rid of ice cream stand. Haha. -ha. So DJ booth fishing dock, and bakery. Some of these I'm going to try and do off screen. Maybe even tonight. I don't know. The night that I'm recording this, I've just finished live streaming. Right? And I'm going to turn around and go do it again in a couple hours because I want to finish the story, gosh dang it. So yeah. It's weird. I just finished adding sorting into... I guess that would be a mod drop. Into... Whoa! That's new. Into um, Misfit, and so... Everything's in a different spot right now. It's kind of tripping me out. But that is all good. And if you watch both series, you might be able to recognize that I, I sort my chests very similarly. Like, I have the same general tools slash useful. Wood stuff, cobblestone, dirt, other stuff, sand, sand, uh, glass, mob drops, plant stuff. Like, the same sort of general thing theme of things. Now I'm hoping as summer continues to get calmer I'll be able to get on the server and actually work behind the scenes a bit more. Uh, we'll, we'll see if that plan holds out. Also I think I have fast sleeves turned on because I was having some major graphics issues the last time I was on here. I was like I just need to be able to see. And because of course Optifine does not happen right now. That means I don't have my dynamic lighting, so we're gonna run away and borrow someone's bed. Oh, wow, your house has gotten full of things. Ah, uh, so it seems that the data packs that I've put on have all broken because it is 1.20. So that means the server is currently without data packs, which means the server is currently without mob protection. Because apparently, if you go into the settings mob protection, it, uh... It stops you from being able to breed villagers, which becomes very problematic when you're trying to, you know, fill up a city. So... Be safe, people on the server, and, uh, don't die. Don't blow things up. If you do, please patch them. If you can't patch them because you don't have the resource or material whatever needed to patch them, please get a hold of me. But, uh, this should be good enough for now. Oh, right, I need to go, uh, kidnap a little bit of bamboo. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Sneaky sneak. Oh my gosh, the army of dogs. I love them. I'm just gonna... I should need a few pieces. I don't remember if I already set this up or not, and if I did, then oops, but... They just go right behind here. I really should make this a little more accessible to more of the town. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Okay, I didn't do this yet. Okay, 
We're good. We're good. Oh, hello. There's Sky. Nice. Oh, yep. Now we just bum 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 bum. Oh, yeah, I grabbed the right amount. It just looks nice. It just looks nice. Okay, let's clear out a couple more trees. Oh, yes, there's one more tree. And let me go. Ooh, new things happening here. New colors. I'm snooping. I can't snoop very well because hitting my snooping button no longer works. Ah! Boing. That is looking really cool, though. That looks really cool. Alright, but let me go in and add, uh... Let's get this thing- Oh, hello? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That is actually adorable. I love it so much, oh my gosh. <gasps> so precious! I went the wrong way, aren't I? Where was the thing again? Oh, oh, there, there we go. Iron farm. I love the use of the mini heads on this. It's so cute. If I can get a hold of a wandering trader, I may just, and obviously the emeralds needed for him, I may just uh, add a couple more of those because they're so freaking cute. Okay. But let's, uh... Let's get this thing going. So I'm gonna have to build, like, onto the dock just a little bit. But I'll reform it afterwards so that it looks a little more natural. Oh dear. I was a block off. But I think I'm gonna kind of make this into a little bit of a lighthouse? I'm not sure. Um, I, I also cannot use, um, replay because, haha, <laughs> that hasn't updated to 1.20 yet either. 1.20 came out, like, three days ago. So, yeah. I'm just heavily eyeballing all of this, by the way. It's probably not smart of me to do that. Okay, we need crafting table. I do appreciate that this design that he's used, that he put it all the way out in the corner where not many people can hear it, because, my goodness, it's got some noise to it. Okay, there we go, we have our frame. So, next, let me... Uh, I'll make some cobblestone. I don't want this lava area to be anywhere near wood. I think the safest way is just gonna be fill up with cobblestone. I almost forgot I didn't have an elytra on this server, but it's okay, because there's water. I swear to you guys, I thought that sign was a black cat for a second, and I was really confused. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this here in case anybody- What? Oh, right. The whole, it needs to be spawn proof thing. Uh, I'll fix that in a little bit, and our guy's gonna meet an untimely demise. Okay, um, we're just gonna kind of let him vibe for a minute, and then I'll deal with him with some, um, later. We'll deal with him later. Uh, we're just gonna keep going, man. Keep going. He can, he can walk off and drown on his own. So we have our frame. And this in interior area is going to have, like, wool on the inside, except for here. That's going to be glass to face out and see things. Then we're going to have wool. This will be where it goes up. I am going to redirect the la- Okay, I, I, this, it's time for this to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bowser. I'm redesigning it just a little bit. It's okay. I promise. So this this part will all be blocked up. Like, I'll, I'll cover it. I'll cover it completely. And I come up here. Here, this block might get in the way. Is this block doing anything? This block is doing something very major. Okay, um... Hold on. We need that to stay put. So... Instead, uh... We'll go... Mmm! I think I want to do this. Um... Let me make a bunch of hoppers. 
like an absurd amount of hoppers real fast. There you go, and that should start filtering it out. And into these chests. Yeah! Okay, wait, so it's filtering into these. So this is like the collection area. Okay, okay, we've got this figured out. We've got this figured out. Okay, so now for the part of making it look nice. Um, I need wool. Let's see, I'll start with the upper area. And then in theory, there we go. So I'll have the chests to deal with. But I think I can cover those up a lot easier than I could the hoppers. I could also just, again, erase them. Okay, so what we're gonna do for Prevention of Spawn is, a uh, Make it really bright. As for designing the top of this, um... I'll do that behind the scenes when I have more oak wood, because I want to do something with a lot of oak wood, and I just- I- I'm not gonna go get that today. Today is about getting most of this done, and then, uh... Exploring for cherry wood, because I want pink wood. Gosh dang it. There we go! Oh, I only need two more pieces. As long as there's no holes? Okay. So, I'll get the wool, and then I will just go gathering off-camera and fix the rest of this. But this is kind of the idea of what it's going to look like. But I, frankly, really want to go explore, and I now have a bit of a tighter deadline on my schedule for today. Considering that I'm going to be streaming for the second time, so... Uh, yeah, let me just go get what wool I can. I have four wool. Okay, um, never mind. I will gather those again off camera. I'll just sit and farm the sheep or something. Um, but I very nearly forgot about something that I very much wanted to do. And it involves these stripped logs. There are, there are two things that I've been the most looking forward to. Two items, specifically. Okay, like the sniffer. Adorable, precious. I love it. But, um, there's two items that I've been very much interested in since I found out about them. And we're gonna craft those real fast because I should be able to. I'm gonna double check on one of the things because I legitimately don't know how to craft it yet. But the other one we're gonna make as well. So give me one second to get to a crafting table and double check these recipes. And, uh, I'm excited. Alright, so our first step is we're gonna need a bunch of these. And some of these. And one of the things I've been most looking forward to with this update is called the chiseled bookshelf. Because you can literally put books into it and store them there. And it looks so heckin' cool. Now I have no books to me and name. To my name, but don't know why I went pirate there. I still could have a bookshelf. So we're gonna put it just slapped on the wall right here for now oh my gosh it looks so cool and as we get books and such actually do i have any like enchanted books that i fished up from anything i have the thank you book and a regular book okay we're gonna grab these we're gonna we're gonna book book i love this so much oh my gosh and you just bum 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 Do they change color based on where they're at, or just based on what they are? I think it's just based on where they're at. But you know what? I can live with that, because I can store my books in a bookshelf, gosh dang it. Ah! I love that. Okay, the second thing is something I've been very hyped for. Hanging signs. There they are. Oh, look at them. Oh, they look so cool! Oh, let me get some food so I'm not starving to death. Well, I mean, a good spot to cut this. Um, right, right here, right here. Hold on. Okay, so it's a little smaller. Look at this. Look at that! Oh, it looks so cute. And then I can just pop. pop. Oh, I love this so much. I'm going to be using these so much. You guys have no idea. Ah! Where else can I put one of these? Hold on. I am a menace to society. I don't care. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna surprise one of my siblings. 
with one of the things that I have wanted to do for this game forever, now that we have the resources. And uh, your house isn't good for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sunny. Your house doesn't work for it. Let me try Bowser. I just I want to give someone something because I've wanted to make it ever since I learned out about the hanging signs because to me it's just mm. okay he's getting one it's a beaded curtain look see you can run through it it's a beaded curtain and um Bowser, you're probably watching this, so if you are, or if you get on the server before and are confused, um, this is a beaded curtain. If you don't want it, just put the signs back in the chest next to my house. But I just wanted to make a little beaded curtain to show off, and I knew my siblings wouldn't care if I did something to their houses, so. How did he- How did he do this with the item frame? How did do? How did do? Don't mind me. Anyways, I, I'm perfectly capable of texting my family and being like, hey, ask Bowser how we did this. No. Alright, but it is time to get ourselves one of these boats and taking off in the hopes of finding a... Uh, I'm just going to put these here. Of finding a... Um, bring a burr. A cherry biome. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think this is good. We have what we need. I'm gonna steal a boat. There's one around here somewhere. Yep. And we're gonna set off this direction. So, something that I did to the server is that all of the chunks that there's not a house in, basically, or, like, immediately around so that the terrain didn't change too much, um, it's now different. It's been deleted and recreated in 1.20. Into the sunset we go. This was a terrible time to travel, but that's okay. I went ahead mostly west. A little bit east, though. Not in the east, south. A little bit south. Southwest. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest. I definitely pulled up a thing that told me where one of these was at. I should make sure I'm going in the right direction. I don't think I am. So I need to go this way and this way. Okay, I need to go this way. South. Yay! <laughs> I think. Yeah. We're going south. Little east, little south. It was somewhere in the 3,000, 3,000s. I, I just looked at the first digits so I give myself the right... Wait, that doesn't sound right. Hold on. Oh, it was in the 1,000, 1,000, not the 3,000, 3,000. Welp. That's why I was going west. Okay. Listen, the magic of the island knows that we want pink wood. And so the magic of the island is telling us what direction to go. <laughs> that is my justification because I want cherry wood. Gosh dang it. Alright, so to be completely honest, um, I don't really know much else about this update. I've not researched it basically at all. Um, oh gosh, grass. The most that I know about it is the hanging signs, the chiseled bookshelves, the pink wood, and the, the sniffers exist, but how you get them and what you're supposed to do with them in order to get the weird seeds, really no, no clue. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing behind the scenes, is researching all of that stuff so we can, you know, get some sniffers floating around, but, uh, Yeah. What is... What are you looking forward to in this update? What are... What are your dreams? Also, wasn't there like a brush you could make? I guess I was wrong. Okay. Maybe I'm missing something. I haven't like unlocked the recipe yet. I do find that really stupid that you have to unlock the crafting recipes before you can do anything with them. That... That... I should be able to craft everything. <laughs> From the get-go. Yeah, so all of these chunks prior to 1.20 were something completely different. And now they're they're deleted and they're what they are now. It's a cool little just maintenance trick as well, so that the server size doesn't get huge. And it just it keeps things running nice and smooth. Hey, 
And if you want to know how to do that, let me know and I can send you all the links and stuff that I got sent. <laughs> I didn't even figure this out for myself, guys. This was all other people. Other people way smarter than me. <gasps> Ooh, big tiger. I wonder if there's a village in there, because they're- I feel like they're usually- Ooh, wolves. I don't have any bones. Why do I have any bones with me? I haven't brought anything with me. Shit, my bones. It's okay, I have dogs. I have dogs. There is a village I will derail and start hunting down fish so I can try and get a cat, but you know. Hold on, let's get to the top of the hill. We should be able to see the biome. I hope so. I want to see all the pink trees. It should be so pretty. I'm going to bring back so many freaking saplings, guys. We're going to have so many pink things. It's going to be gorgeous. And, like, I can use this as just not even, like, the main bulk to build, but as the... D oh, there it is. Oh, it's beautiful. As the detailing. This looks so nice against, like... Oh, I already know how I can use it. I already know how to use it. I can put some in the, um, interior of the place. The iron farm. Yeah, there we go. Because it's not just that it's pink wood. Because, yes, it's gorgeous. But look at how dark the stems are. Not the stems. The bark? Bark. Look at how dark the bark is. Hold on, hold on. Do I need shears to break these? I do happen to have iron on me. <gasps> Guys, these are going literally everywhere. Oh my gosh. I'm putting so many flower plants around. You guys have no idea. Seacrest members, I'm so sorry for how pink the things that I can make are about to become. Oh, there's so much of them. Okay, hold on. Does this, like, does this hill flatten out the top? That would be very helpful. Oh, gosh, yes. The question is, can I, like, expand these? Or are these stuck here? Do they fall out of the trees? Because I do see, like, petals. Like, is it, like, snow? Because, like, they're not on places that are underneath, but they are really heavy under trees. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I'm getting so many of these. I'm just gonna get a bunch of leaves. I I love everything about these. The way they like knock particles into the air. I love that. The spore blossoms are easily one of my favorite blocks because of the freaking ambient effects that it gives. I can combine these with the spore blossoms. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so pretty. I'm not even talking about just for this world, like, for my family server especially, because I have spore blossoms all over my house there. Oh my gosh, I need to look into how these work. But no, like, look at, look at this. The dark on the light contrast? That looks so good! What did I get? Oh my gosh, yeah. We are... It is a good day. It is a great day. If anything is wrong with this video file, I am actually going to lose it. <laughs> now, I'm recording it with OBS. It's not with Streamlabs. I learned that lesson earlier today. We don't use Streamlabs for recording. Oh my gosh. I love this place. I love this place so much. It is... It is beautiful. Also, look, the trees grow all funky. They're so cute. Alright, well, I'm gonna sit here and go at it until we- <gasps> Good news! The, uh, the, the, the mob griefing plugins still work. 
I need you guys to know I very just almost fell out of my exercise ball. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. Everything is good. <laughs> oh, I don't need a shears to do that. Oh. Well, now I feel stupid. I'm still gonna use it though, because I can. Look at these. They're so pretty. Okay, um... I guess let me just mine until I get a sapling. Oh my gosh. I- this- this makes me s Cherry sapling, there we go! Oh, these make me so happy. They're so cute. Like, this is just pure serotonin. Okay. Um, I will get back to the main area later, and I will decorate the rest of the iron farm. But this is where I need to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with Misfit Mountain and another new skin there. Tomorrow, uh, not, to not tomorrow again, Friday with Stardew Valley and Saturday with the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!